We now know that Lightroom catalogs are completely independent of one another. We can't access or search or process any images that are not imported directly into the catalog that we have open. So how many Lightroom catalogs should we create in our workflow? There's tons of different answers for this and in the end you're going to need to make the decision for yourself based on your own preferences and based on your photographic workflow. But before we get to our recommended catalog setups, let's quickly talk through the benefits and drawbacks of single catalog versus multi-catalog management workflows. The major benefit of a single catalog workflow, basically having all of your files within one single catalog, is just that. You have all your files in one single catalog. So you can search through any images, you can find anything within your entire library, process and export whatever you want. And this makes image management more simple because everything is in one simple location. However, there are some downsides. Now, Adobe and probably Adobe sponsored instructors will probably tell you that Lightroom never slows down regardless of the number of images that are within a catalog. However, these photographers most likely they're not seeing the kind of volume that a studio like ours is editing. We're pushing nearly 1.5 million images per year through our workflow and I can tell you with confidence that as the catalog gets larger it will slow down. It's going to slow down when loading the catalog, it'll slow down when searching the catalog, and it'll slow down when trying to batch process and do whatever you need to do within your workflow. Now I completely acknowledge that for the majority of you, you're not processing this large of an amount of photos. So the slowdown may not be at all noticeable to you. But if you're like us, then saving simply one second on over 1.5 million photos each year ends up being over 400 studio hours. So if you're processing massive amounts of images, then speed matters even down to the second. But like we said, for many users, this minor difference in catalog speed, as catalogs exceed say 50,000 or 100,000 images, it isn't gonna make much of a difference in their overall workflow. And the convenience of having everything in one place is gonna outweigh basically any inconvenience of slight performance differences. In addition, we do have another studio concern when it comes to a single management workflow, and that's in regards to moving and archiving these shoots. When a shoot enters our workflow, it gets backed up onto our server, then it hits the post-production workstation, it goes through editing and then review and then back to archival, and each job is being transferred maybe three or four times within the workflow until it's completed. With a single catalog system, you can't move around these individual jobs with that kind of ease because the catalog and its images would exceed several hundreds of gigabytes, if not several um, tens of terabytes, basically. So to summarize, with a single catalog system, we have the convenience and simplicity of having all of our files in one place, but we lose a bit of speed and flexibility for a larger studio workflow. On the flip side, a multi-catalog workflow is going to have the opposite benefits. Every one of our clients, they each have an individual catalog for every single shoot. And so each client's catalog is going to range from maybe 100 images to 10,000 images on the high end. Lightroom is going to load quicker, it's going to render previews faster, and just overall it's going to run a bit more efficient. In addition, we're able to quickly move each client catalog from machine to machine through the workflow and archival process because they stay much smaller in size. But we do lose the ability and benefit of being able to find and access any image that we've ever shot because they're all going to be in different catalogs. So to pull images, we have to pull a specific client catalog. Because of this, we have two recommended catalog workflows that should cover most Lightroom users' needs. For the vast majority of Lightroom users, our recommended catalog setup is just a single catalog workflow system. The majority of Lightroom users, well, you're not going to be shooting the volume of images that would make it necessary to break out every single shoot or every single client into their own catalog. In fact, we can even put a number on it. I would say that if you're shooting less than, say, a thousand images per week, you should maintain a single catalog workflow. This is of course remembering that you do actually delete your rejected images and you don't become an image pack rat. If you're saving every single thing you ever shoot, well, all bets are off. So for the majority of you, we're gonna organize every single shoot within that single Lightroom catalog and you're gonna keep one catalog for all of your images. For those of you that are shooting a high volume of images, so significantly over a thousand images per week, I would recommend a dual catalog workflow. So basically the way that works is for professional jobs, each client or every shoot would have its own catalog and this will improve speed and workflow flexibility and transferring and archiving and so forth. In addition to the professional catalogs that you've set up for every shoot, I would recommend that you maintain a single portfolio or personal catalog. For example, in my personal and portfolio catalog, I keep all of my professional 
portfolio level images that I might use in the future for say publishing, articles, tutorials, advertising, blogging, and so forth. Those are just all my favorite shots that really I've ever shot during professional shoots. In addition, I also store all my personal photos from family trips and portraits and events and concept shoots and so forth. And this allows me to keep basically this single catalog workflow when it comes to the majority of my images, basically for anything that's not regarding an individual client's photos. So when I'm working on my client's images, I'm working within those individual client catalogs. And outside of that, I only have one other catalog, which is my personal catalog. This allows me to access all of my personal images, all my favorite professional images in one place without basically getting too bloated, while my professional catalogs allow me to maintain speed and workflow efficiency. With this system, we're sort of getting the best of both worlds, although it is gonna be a little bit more complicated to maintain. Once again, in the end, the choice is up to you. We just want you to understand the benefits and drawbacks of each of these catalog workflows, and you can make your decision from there. But hopefully, these two recommended catalog workflow systems will be of help to you, and for now, let's head on to the next video.